Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Double E Guy back again with another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a non-inverting operational amplifier here in LT Spice so that we can simulate the gain and also our sinusoidal voltage source and the output that our op amp creates. So let's first take a look at some parts here. So here in LT Spice, using the shortcut P command, we can take a look at our parts and we're going to have a universal op amp 2 right here. This is pretty standard. We have a negative terminal, a positive terminal, as well as our output terminal. We also have a plus and minus where we need to power our op amp. So first, let's actually get a V positive and a V negative right here to power our op amp. We also are going to need our output pin out here. Using the end command, we can immediately find a pin for this. So we're going to have our output. Now looking at this op amp circuit right here, we actually need our voltage source to come through our positive terminal in a non-inverting configuration. So let's wire this up real fast with our voltage source here. We're going to make this a sinusoidal voltage source as well with zero DC offset. We're going to make it 50 millivolt amplitude and 60 hertz. And then we can wire this directly to ground. All right, so now looking at this circuit, we have a pretty good start. We have our output pin, and we also have our signal coming through the positive terminal. But we actually need a negative feedback configuration, which is going to look something like this. So we're coming from our output and we're going back into the negative terminal, which is why it's called negative feedback. We're going to need a feedback resistor right here. I'm going to call this RF and we're going to make this 10 kilo ohms. We're also going to need a resistor right here. And this is going to be our R1 resistor and it's going to be grounded. Let's also make this 10 kilo ohms. So now we actually have our complete op amp circuit in our non-inverting configuration. All we need to do now is to power this op amp. So how would we go about powering the op amp? Let's actually use two voltage sources. Let's make this 5 volts and make this one 5 volts as well. We can run a wire through them like so. We're going to need a reference to ground, which we can add right here in between. And then we need to use these separate pins. We want VP to be 5 volts and we want VN to be negative 5 volts. So let's put our pins right here. Our VP here. And we can put our VN here on the bottom. So you see here we have our 5 volts. This is going to be going to VP connected to ground. And we have our 5 volt right here. Negative going to VN. The rest going to ground. So this should work, but let's actually test it just to make sure. So in order to do a spice directive here in LT Spice, you can press the period, and then you can run certain commands. So I'm going to run period tran 100m. And so this is our transient response, and this is 100 milliseconds. And so if we simulate this, you can see we go up all the way to 100 milliseconds, and I can test the voltage. So no big surprises here, we have a DC voltage source, which means it should be a flat line here. And then our VN, just to make sure this is working correctly, we have a negative 5 volts, also a flat line. That means our op amp is being powered correctly, and we can go on with this circuit. So now let's take a look at our voltage source right here. This is our original voltage source. We can see we have a 50 millivolt amplitude, and this really does check out. We have our 50 millivolts here going all the way down to negative 50 millivolts. That means our peak to peak for this voltage source is going to be 100 millivolts. Now let's take a look at our output just to see what our gain is in this circuit in its current configuration. So looking at the output, we can see that our green wave, which is our V out, is actually going up to 100 millivolts. That means we have a gain of 2 in this circuit. So why do we have a gain of exactly 2? So in a non-inverting op amp, like this configuration here, we have our 10 kilo ohm resistor RF, and we have our R1 10 kilo ohms. 
So the formula for gain in a non-inverting operational amplifier circuit is going to be RF over R1 plus 1. So you can see here 10K over 10K is going to be equal to 1, and then 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, which makes our gain here 2. You can see we have our 50 millivolts right here. So if we have a gain of 2, we multiply this by 2, and we're going to get 100 millivolts. So let's say we want a 1 volt peak to peak in this circuit. What resistor value would we use here in our R feedback in order to get that gain? You can play around with these values a little bit, but let's try 90K just to start out. So with a 90 kilo ohm resistor, let's do the math. We have 90 kilo ohms over 10 kilo ohms. That's going to be equal to 9. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10, which means this circuit here in this current configuration will give us a gain of 10. So we have our 50 millivolts. If we multiply 50 millivolts by 10, we're going to get 500 millivolts, which means our peak to peak is going to be exactly 1 volt according to this circuit. So let's test it real fast. We can look at our V out, and we can simulate this once again. And we can see we have 500 millivolts and negative 500 millivolts, which means our peak to peak voltage here is exactly 1 volt. You can see this in comparison to our original signal. This is a significant gain right here. We can see that we started with a blue sinusoid, and now we have our green output sinusoid, which is going to be 10 times our original signal. This is pretty powerful, and this shows how our non-inverting op-amp circuit can really help us to get significant gain for different applications.